Oh, we're getting burnt. Oh, the high DPS. If only it could reach me through my immortal shell. We having fun, guys? You, we, Remember, everybody, we paid for this. You, you Patreons pay for this experience. The privilege of fighting immortal gods. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today we're playing Team Fortress 2, a very fantastical and strange game which has actually been released and on the market now since 2007, making this game 13 years old. This game is one of the strangest games in existence. You might be wondering, what is Team Fortress 2? Is it A, a competitive team-based game where you rush to do objectives and outskill other players? Is it B, a beautiful passion project of the community which has seen years and years of love thanks to all of the players and the developers? Or is it C, a very complicated and well-hidden hat marketplace which is the first ever recorded example of digital hatware being more valuable than actual real world hats? Valve, what on earth have you done? Well, it turns out Team Fortress 2 isn't any one of those things, it's all of these things and more. It's an absolutely fantastic fantastic and lovely fun game, and of course very recently it saw a very strange exploit get added to it. Now we managed to record the exploit actually just before it was patched, I had been following it for several days and then as soon as other YouTubers started jumping on board I thought well you know what I might as well go make my video on it as well, as I won't catch any flack. But now, as the exploit's been patched, I no longer can catch any flack unless you happen to own a multiplayer approved copy of Team Fortress 2 from just about any of the last five years, in which case you could still pull off this exploit. But for for most of us normal human beings, everything is safe and fine now. And so I can release this video showing you how to gain immortality in Team Fortress 2 without fearing any of the community-based repercussions. I must say also congratulations to the two developers still working on Team Fortress 2 who were able to get this exploit patched within about a week of it becoming public. Well done, that's very impressive. Now Team Fortress 2, when I say this is a beautiful and incredible community-driven game, I really do mean it. I think no better example can be given than the recent devastating news that the loss of Rick May, who was the voice actor for the Soldier class in Team Fortress 2. As you can guess, this game has been going on for years, and so the loss of someone whose voice has been key to the actual journey of the game has seen a massive and incredible reaction from the community. It is honestly beautiful to see a community of this size still going 13 years after release, and not actually completely being a mad, crazy cesspool of angry shouting people. Not that every game becomes that the longer it's been released, I'm just saying that OpenTTD has been out since 2004 and everyone in that community is so toxic. Oh yes, Steven, you put your train line down just where I was planning to build my bus route. I know your game. Very well, I will see you on the battlefields of capitalism. The stock market, Stephen. I will sink your coffee business. All of that aside, Team Fortress 2, it's a great game. Strongly recommend picking it up, especially because it's free. So today we're going to be pulling off a very strange exploit which actually required me to once again summon my friends. I know. Now in order to actually pull off this exploit, you needed no friend, so congratulations 97% of my audience, you'll be able to do it. But for this video I actually decided to summon friends, mostly so that we could all get this exploit testing and working so that multiple people could pull it off, but mostly so that we could fill up a server with bots on it so as to cause as little chaos for the lovely ladies and gentlemen still enjoying this game at home. Anyway, we should probably dive into the video. So it's time to make sure you sat back, relaxed, you have your fancy hat on, as we're about to dive into this fantastic video of Team Fortress 2. So the way this exploit works is actually really relatively simple and many people have discovered how to do it. It requires very little setup other than to make sure you have the developer console enabled, access to a keyboard and one of two very cheap items which you can either pick up from playing the game or find on the Steam community market. The two items in question are of course the strange eviction notice or the strange gloves of running urgently. The reason these items are very unique is because they drain your maximum health whilst the item is activated. This is necessary in order to pull off the exploit so make sure you have access to these bad boys. Now once you have those bad boys equipped, hop into any game. I strongly recommend you give this a try against bots first, just so that you get the hang of it. Alternatively, you can do what I did and invite a couple of friends onto a private server and get the exploit tested. Now of course in order to pull off this exploit, all you're going to need to do is to make sure you have the developer console enabled in the default options and then go into the advanced section. And then in the advanced options section elsewhere on the menu, scroll down until you find 
right, remember the active weapon between lives. Make sure you have that box ticked. Effectively what this does is it makes sure that when you die, the last item that you had equipped in your hands is the same item you're going to have when you respawn in. A very nice handy user feature, thank you for adding that into the game TF2 devs. However, one slight issue, it now also causes immortality, but only if you're playing the heavy class. So what you're going to want to do is equip those gloves, hop into a game, make sure you have all of this set up, and quickly switch between your big minigun and your fists. You can spam Q to make this even faster if you like, ladies and gentlemen, and just drain your health down so that it's beneath 100. Then what you're going to want to do is open up the console command whilst having those lovely gloves still equipped, and type in the word kill. I know, it's as easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. Now your character is dead, and they have a 12 second window in which they're going to be respawning. After that 12 seconds, we're going to hop back to life, but something's going to be different. You see, whilst you're dead, or before you've actually died, what you're going to want to do is type into your console and bind the F key or any key, but I recommend the F because it's next to the D key, alternatively spacebar works, to the action use asterisk. Now once you have that key bound, wait until you're about a second before you're about to respawn and then start mashing away at the F key. Now provided everything works, what's going to happen is you're going to spawn in with the same item you had equipped in your past life. As we had the gloves equipped, which drained our health in the past life, we'll spawn in with that. However, because we've been mashing the F key, which is bound to the use asterisk, it's going to quick switch over from those gloves into our minigun. Provided it does quick switch to the minigun, everything here has worked perfectly. If you don't quick switch to the minigun, it means you need to remember to activate weapons between lives. And now that you have the minigun equipped, perfect. From this point on, don't change to your melee weapon, and you can run about the map as you please, but don't take any damage and don't walk into any health dispensers. Effectively, what's happening behind the scenes is your health is continuously draining whilst also being locked at the maximum. This is creating a bit of a strange underflow error behind the scenes, and it's also going to basically break the game's mechanics. So the way the immortality in this game works is that the longer you wait for immortality, the more powerful it will be. So what we're doing here, as you can see, is quite simply waiting in the spawn room for time to pass. The longer you wait, the longer the immortality will be, and the more underflow negative health your character is actually going to have. It doesn't quite roughly work out to one minute of waiting to one minute of immortality, but it is pretty close, so feel free to use that as an estimate. I strongly recommend if you are trying to pull off this exploit, do it with a couple of friends so that they can keep the enemy team distracted long enough for you to build up a meaningful amount of immortality. And of course, once you have your immortality built up, if you're out there for two minutes as an immortal, unkillable god, your teammates can also be pulling off the exploit at the same time in the spawn room. Now, once you've waited around long enough, quickly switch back to your fantastic pair of gloves and what you'll notice is your health immediately drops to one. Technically, it's actually less than one. Then what you're going to want to do is switch back on over to your minigun and you'll notice your health immediately climbs from one back up to 300 very, very quickly. It's then also going to be overcharged and for some reason, you're going to be continuously gaining the overcharge effect and it's never going to stop right up until the immortality wears off. So the overcharge will come in and you'll keep gaining health. At this rate, you're actually gaining hundreds of health per second, but you won't actually be able to see any of it. The game will cap you at 300, but the health is still continuously flooding into your body. From this point on, ladies and gentlemen, you are basically immortal. The only way that you can be killed is if you lose all 300 of that health instantaneously. The only way to pull this off is if you're hit in the head with an overcharged sniper, or you're stabbed in the back by a spy. Another way to get around this, however, is to have yourself healed by a medic, as a friendly medic boosting you with a heal can boost your health up to, say, 450 and suddenly the sniper is going to have a much harder time one hitting you. But almost all other weapons, including other heavies, medics, soldiers, demo men, pyros, all of them can't kill you. And seeing as you're an immortal, which can basically spin around and pivot on a spot and kill everything, enemy spies are probably also going to have a hard time getting to you. So the only thing you need to watch out for is making sure your head doesn't get blown off. And as you can see here, immortality works surprisingly effectively. You'll still receive effects from knockback and the like, but you will not actually be able to die. You have achieved it, ladies and gentlemen. True, perfect immortality. It just works. It really does just work. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Heck, you're probably down in the comment section trying to come over the fact that this is absolutely bonkers and ludicrous. But at the end of the day, this exploit isn't quite as crazy as when Valve decided to accidentally destroy the entire hat economy that this game had with one very broken loot box. Such a shame that Valve removed it way too quickly. It was a great laugh. Anyway, ladies, 
ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far, then I've got something exciting in store for you. I'm going to be testing out this exploit on some very unknowing volunteers who probably haven't had many hours on TF2 in the first place and are now going to be facing off against an entire team of immortal heavies. So let's see how they do. <laughs> oh god, they're not going to do very well, are they? Bam, I've jumped into the midpoint of the video when you least expected me. If you did expect me, oh no, you're getting used to this. They're becoming smarter. Oh no, it's the last thing we wanted to have happen. Well, welcome to the midpoint of the video. I'd like to say thank you very much to all of you lovely people who have brought my majestic mug in these very confusing and complicated times which you currently live in. My extra large mug has gone from strength to strength, becoming my most widely sought after mug of all time. Some say it's an even bigger mug than myself, and that's really saying something. But I mostly wanted to jump in here not to talk about my mug, but instead to say thank you very much for watching the video. The channel has grown an absolutely tremendous amount over the last few months, and hey, if you're new here, please say hi. I'd like to personally thank each and every one of you in the comment section, although I'm sure that's not really possible, but I'll certainly give it a good go. You're all absolutely fantastic for providing me with far too much entertainment in these relatively boring times for most normal people. Ah, all the people wanting to go outside. <laughs> I prepared myself for this. Oh god. <laughs> Mm. Although it's the tea that's really keeping me going. God, I love tea. Anyway, I've taken up far too much of your very valuable and incredible time. So let's dive straight back into this video as we have even more chaos to show off. There we go. And immortality achieved. Open fire, Minty. Open fire. Da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. Oh, it just works. It's fair. It's fair, Minty. It's fair. Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. This is a uh, TF2 in 2020. This is what the people still playing in 2020 have to look forward to. Come on, Sentry. Oh no, I'm a threat, am I? It's annoying, I will say that. All right, um, so all we need to do, guys, on the dev team, uh, just keep those keep those filthy casual patrons at bay, but don't cap the point. Get off the point, get off the point. Don't progress. We are simply keeping them pinned. No progression is necessary. Right, hello, red team. Let us fight you. Uh, all of the other heavies, no fighting. Uh, you're allowed to follow, but no actual killing people. Oh, cap the point. Hello there, red soldier. There we go, we cap the point. Connor, on to the next one. Everyone else on the dev team, feel free just to stand back at a distance and observe as we cap the final point. Actually, Connor, let's not cap. Let's stand here and give them a chance to fight us. Come on, soldiers, fight us. You're doing great, soldier. Keep go keep at it. Keep at it, guys. You're doing awesome. One day, one day they'll get us. One day. Oh. Oh, I'm getting attacked by some cheeky boy up here. Oh, we're getting birds. Oh, the high DPS. If only it could reach me through my immortal shell. You having fun, guys? You, we... Remember, everybody, we paid for this. You, you <laughs> Patreons pay for this experience. The privilege of fighting immortal gods. How is my immortality not expired yet? This is going yeah, great. Normally it wears off after a while. Oh, you're dead. I guess I've only got about five seconds left then. Yep, that's me done. <laughs> so go. <laughs> it's not heresy. It's just that we had a health pool of about 27,000. All right, let's yeah. do this. Let's cap the final point. Good job, guys. We've, what, this has been about four minutes we've waited? I think this is long enough. Yeah, about that. Okay, right. Yeah. Let's do this. Three, two, one, switch. And there we go. Let's go. Um, scouts, just simply hang back so you don't draw the turret fire. And let's do it. Oh, <laughs> this lot of screen shake. Just keep walking past. No, my baby. Just keep going. All right, this is it. We've got it. Oh, Cap the yeah, point. Minty. Oh, Minty, you've got the sign too. Where do you get that from? I picked it up. You can pick it up from me. Wow. Alf, can you drop me the sign? Oh, there it is. Awesome. Oh, wait, no, that stopped my immortality. I'm mortal! No! Finally! Right, now let's do something fun. Everyone become the spy class. Everyone, all teams, it's spy time. Operation Deceive one person. Oh, wow, there's me as a, as a spy. No. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, no. One of you guys is a spy! Someone around here. Oh, it, my God, it was Wiggy all along. Hey, Connor, how are you doing? That's not Connor. That's not Connor. You're not Connor. Oh, wait, no, you are Connor. What? <laughs> now I'm even more confused. Oh, have we? Okay, cap the point then. Oh, go back and take the other one. Beans. Yes. 
GG Blues. Honestly, I don't know who was on the winning team and not. <laughs> and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the TF2 we have time for. But wait, there's more of a video to this. I know, it's absolutely incredible. I actually have some things I want to talk about. I want to turn this video into also including a little bit of an update as to what we have planned for the channel. In a brand new segment, I'm going to be calling Quarantine Time with Spiff. So go grab yourself a nice warm beverage of your choice. Unless, of course, your choice is coffee, in which case it's the wrong choice. And sit down as we have a lovely lovely chat. Now whilst this might feel like a job interview, you're probably right. Except unlike most job interviews, if you disappoint me, it'll be more than just your financial well-being on the line. But in all seriousness, I hope you are all keeping well. I'm personally doing quite good. Despite all the quarantine time, tea production has been at an all-time high for me personally. And so fear not, the stability of Spiffco is assured. We will one day have the global domination you're all so invested in. So thank you for being a shareholder. And if you're not a shareholder, feel free to to buy one of our 14 million shares, now available for only 14 million rubles. But once again, in all seriousness, I hope you're all keeping yourselves well. It's a complicated time that we find ourselves in, and of course, it's a time for experimentation and change, because I have all of this free time, which I can't spend going outside, which I can't say I did much of anyway. I'm actually going to be sinking more time into video production, allowing us to do more weird, wacky, and crazier videos than ever before. I have a few very interesting plans, including hopefully return to Skyrim, although I must say I would will probably need a lot of enthusiasm to return to Skyrim. I do love the game, but I have played it an awful lot, and I fear that every time I return I cannot live up to the glory that Rihanna Keeves deserves. So instead, probably the next interlude of Rihanna Keeves you're going to see will be in the form of Fallout 4. That's right, I have a Fallout 4 video in the works, in which case, once again, we're going to be taking a fantastical hero. Can you even call them a hero? Oh god. Well, it's Rihanna bloody Keeves, you can call him what you like. Hero, god, destroyer of just about everything, and most powerful being in the universe. We're going to be taking him for a spin in Fallout 4 to see what else he can desecrate in terms of Todd Howard's beautiful creations. At the same time, I have a few more plans for Bannerlord, which should be lovely and fantastical, and I even have a copy of The Witch of Free lined up, I know. So maybe there's going to be more videos than you could have ever expected. As always, the priority in which I go about these videos is entirely based on the community. I know it's a crazy idea, but I actually read the comments. A lot of YouTubers believe that reading comments is a surefire way to damage your mental health, and sure that might be the case for some, I am absolutely proud of the community I have. I have a community of really generous people who I regularly see in the comment section being nice to each other. And honestly, that makes me proud. Give yourselves a pat on the back. To think that this community didn't exist five years ago and now here we are sat with over 1.3 million of you tea drinking bastards actually being polite and gentlemanly to each other. And honestly, it's beautiful. I'm proud of all of you. Together we have created something absolutely crazy. So yes, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in videos, be it a change in the way we do thumbnails, titles, descriptions, comments, you name it, I will take it on board. Every single idea is a good idea in my books. It could be a stupid good idea, but it's still a good idea, and it will be received. So have plans for bigger, fantastical community events, although I'm not too sure I'm going to actually go about doing them. I did have a rather silly idea for a 256 player game of EU4, which would be a world record breaking event. The only downside is in order to have 256 players of EU4, they'd have to all not lag, and probably be running off of LAN, so I'd need to fly 256 people into one tiny box, lock them together, and then watch them play EU4. Such a task is naturally impossible at the moment, and also fundamentally crazy and should never happen. But remote ideas of fantastical community events are actually in the works. Our Minecraft server is nearing completion, and once that is made, I'm going to be having a Minecraft server like no other. It's going to hopefully be history and a turning point in the era of Minecraft, and certainly something you should be keeping your eyes out on. Anyway, I've already spoiled too much. As always, I'll be hanging around on the community Discord, mostly shouting at patrons who do badly in CSGO games, but all of us are there to have a chat if you are struggling in these fantastical times. Or not even struggling at all and just want advice on how to brew tea or just strange people to talk to and play games with. We've got all of them. Oh god, we've got a lot of strange people. Stay clear of that Dave bloke, he'll try and sell you coffee. We haven't caught him doing it publicly yet, and trust me, as soon as we have caught him, he'll be banned. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all for me today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you do have an absolutely fantastical day, and I genuinely do mean it. Seriously, look after yourselves and have a wonderful time. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of our majestic patrons who make these fantastic videos all the more possible. And hey, if you're sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, well, look no further than this one on screen now. I've hand chosen this video to be perfect for you if you enjoyed today's video. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now.